is Ben Riley. I'm related to this reality's Peter Parker. How? I'm his clone. Or maybe he's my clone. We're not sure. This dimension's Peter Parker had it pretty rough. He had already lost Uncle Ben. Then Aunt May passed away. That nearly unbalanced his mind. But then Parker's path crossed with a brilliant scientist, an expert in genetic cloning. His name was Miles Warren. Ah, I see you've met him. Well, he cloned Spider-Man. To make matters worse, the clone escaped. I thought I was that clone. I tried to stay out of Peter's life by taking on a new identity. I dyed my hair, changed my name to Ben Riley. But I had no memory of where I really came from. Warren had robbed me of my past. I understand what you've been through. Warren created a clone in my reality who had the same problem. Peter, I've come back to you. Mary Jane. What's the matter? I'm not the real Mary Jane? That is so, my dear. Why didn't you just tell me I was a clone? The cloning process has proven unstable. You're coming apart. Mary Jane! No! It's too late. Warren! Warren, where the blazes are you? Forget it, Tiger. I want you to know just one thing. If any part of me is anything like the real Mary Jane Watson, she loves Peter Parker more than anything in the world. More anything. No! I might make some startling advances. I hate him for what he did. So did my world's Peter Parker. But he hated me, the clone, even more. When I became a costume hero, the Scarlet Spider, it really made him angry. But the next big blow came from Dr. Kurt Connors. He discovered that, according to our genetic structures, it might be Peter who was the clone, not me. That news pushed Peter Parker over the edge. Now he hated me with a passion. This is starting to sound like a bad comic book plot. It gets worse. I was trying to stop one of the Kingpin's crimes. He had created some kind of interdimensional transporter which would make him invincible as a criminal. No sooner had I arrived when my other showed up. I thought he was there to help me, but he wasn't. He wanted me out of the picture permanently. Then, from some other dimension, it appeared. That's the Carnage symbiote. Drawn by Peter's hatred, it bonded with him somehow and drove him completely insane. So this reality we're in is your reality. But what does it have to do with the rest of us? What's our stake in this? Or yours, for that matter? Behold, look into the future. Tell me what you see. A portal has been opened. The dish stolen from J3 Communications is magnifying the incendiary device attached to the transporter. And it's about to go off. No! This 